Let's talk about our big pattern change right during the fall months. We see pattern changes and this is much more typical of an active pattern. Let me show you what it is. High pressure to our east, a big area of low pressure to our west. And because there are two strong systems together and kind of close to each other. It's the reason why the winds have picked up quite a bit. So let's talk about why we call it a secondary severe weather season often happens during the transitional months as in fall and spring. So we have this big area of low pressure where the jet stream dips down. I just showed you that's what we actually have right now. We call that an upper level trough. Well, that signals cold air to push down into the lower 48. Now compare that at the surface with the warm, humid air that's coming in from the Gulf. You have felt it that consistently southerly wind that's bringing in a little bit more moisture. Well, whenever that jet stream dips down, down and uh, ushers down an area of cold, dry air like what we're expecting to come through late Wednesday. Those two air masses where they meet, that is generally where we're going to see some thunderstorms develop. And the bigger the difference between the cold temperatures and the warm temperatures, usually the bigger threat for severe weather we have. So our secondary severe weather season, it's not as active as what we see in the spring. It begins in October, runs through November, and this is usually when we see more cold fronts and unstable uh, conditions. And it's again, not as active in the spring, but of course severe weather can occur at any time of the year, Mark. So it's always important to pay attention to your WFA weather team. It's Texas. Yeah. We can have it any time. That's why that app is so helpful too. Thank you, Marielle.